Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And the Shimlers are the first team to book their place in the 2024 Varsity Cup final. Downing Stellenbosch, Marty's down at, in Stellenbosch, 38 points to 24. What a game it was for the Shimlers who, I tell you what, are so exciting and uh, with ball in hand. And they didn't move away from their DNA. You know, they, they, they've wanted to play this really attractive brand of rugby and make it winning rugby. And I tell you what, they are one game away from potentially that being just that. And uh, what a performance it was, really. They scored early. Uh, they had to defend very well. There's a lot of pressure on them for Marty's in the early stages, but uh, Schindler's managing to always sort of pitch up when it really mattered. Before we sort of break the game down, uh, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I thought that Marty's had the early momentum, to be perfectly honest, and uh, had so many opportunities to score and to get into the game that they just didn't really take. And um, I know we got an interview with the player, Pascal Kenji, and, and he, he himself admitted that they just didn't take the chances that were on offer. And uh, on the other hand, Schindler scored so many tries against the run of play, but they were clinical and uh, scored some absolute brilliant tries as well. So uh, they really, really do deserve it. And if you look at the game, uh, scoring first, going 12 points to nil up, Marty's coming back, then them going up 20 points to 12, then 29 points to, to 12, 29 points to 17. So Marty's were always chasing the game. And uh, the game was always going to catch up to them because they just never really... I mean, they got within three points was the closest they got uh, throughout the game. But they were always well behind the game. And uh, Schimler's second half I thought was really impressive in terms of the way they, they handled the, the the pressure. That they played intelligent rugby. They played in the right sort of areas. They pinned um, Stellenbosch back. And uh, they controlled the game really, really well. Uh, so if you look at some of the stats, for example, um, five tries scored by Schimler's. Um, you know, penalties in C of 12. So their handling weren't, wasn't great. But if you look at the, the tackles made, 91, 10 missed. Uh, lineouts were much better. I mean, you look at uh, at, at March, there are six lineouts uh, throughout the, the game, which is not really good enough. If you, and if you look at Schindler's, on the other hand, losing just one. Uh, scrums are pretty even, uh, sort of ebb to the flow. Possession territory as well, very, very even. Um, handling errors, a couple from Schindler's, they'll need to try and, uh, and cut that out. But they have scored four more tries in every single game in the Varsity Cup campaign so far. So they are such an exciting team. They know how to score points. And any team that knows how to score points can never be written off. Um, so, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, whatever the final is, whether it's a, it's a UCT versus Schindler's final in Bloemfontein, where they have to travel to Posh to take on the NW Eagles, um, I think it's going to offer a great prospect. I think they're such an exciting team to watch on the Schindler's that wherever they play against, I think it will be a high-scoring affair. We saw such a good game between themselves and the Eagles uh, earlier this season. And uh, I think, you know, whatever whatever game or opposition it is next week, I think it will offer a very similar prospect. Uh, let me know what you thought about uh, the game down in the comments below. Uh, Stellenbosch, well, it's the third year in a row that they will not uh, contest a, uh, uh, well, um, take away the Varsity Cup. They are the most successful team in the history of the tournament, but in recent years have struggled to uh, continue to get back to winning ways. So another reset for them. And uh, Mama Flores' team will have a lot to work on in the off season. But uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. And we'll be at the final. So we're going to go see the Shimmers play live and in person. So uh, um, that'll either be Bloemfontein or Potchester. It will not be down in Stellenbosch. Cannot be in Cape Town. So uh, that has been confirmed. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, my name is Steve. Thank you very much for watching. I'll chat to you soon.